we visited the privately funded Metaphysical and Psychic Research Center in Berkshire, whose principal, Norman Knight, has been involved in psychic research for over 30 years. The center was founded in 1973. It was founded because we found that there was a, a lot wanting as far as um, uh, psychic and spiritual healing was concerned. And this is why we involved ourselves with research and investigation into this phenomenon. The ultimate goal, of course, is to, to bring some tangible substance to this intangible subject. Most of this equipment here came through um, times when I was in deep contemplation. Um, this particular object is our table that we levitate, and it moves around the room under certain circumstances, of course. Where are we going? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome my guest, Norman Knight. Norman, you brought along a very interesting piece of equipment here. You say it can be used as a lie detector, but further than that, you say it can also in some way detect thought. That's completely true. I see. Well, let's see how it works, shall we? Surely. We have on the top here a dial which is recording microvolts. And at the moment, the, this particular person, my friend here, is producing one um, microvolt. During the course of thought transmission, this particular um, pointer moves across the dial. But I've got to set it first to his um, metabolism. Hopefully, um, what I want to try to prove is that thoughts can be transmitted um, from one person to another. And detected by this machine. And it's detected by this machine. I see. Well, this machine has its own internal power supply, and it's connected to your colleague, Mr. Ron Turner. Are you connected, Ron? I am, thank you. I'm glad to know a man who feels well connected. <laughs> Norman, would you please tune the machine for us now? Surely. Right, we're somewhere near ready now. So, Norman, I understand that this also involves your wife, Norma, who is in our audience. And I understand that Norma is going to send pleasant thoughts over to Ron and that the machine will pick up the thoughts as Ron receives them. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. But I would say at this point, it's not pleasant thoughts, it's healing thoughts. Ah, I see. All right, I stand corrected. Now, Ron, how can we tell when you are receiving Norma's thoughts? How will that be evident? Uh, it'll be evident because the dial will show a rise, and also there will be a rise in the sound. I'll signal you like this, okay? That's the official signal, and you will signal Norma to start sending thoughts, okay, Norman? That's quite all right, but one other thing before we do that, what I'd like other people to do is not think or try to send thoughts to the sitter here, if that is possible. Okay. We'll because they can interfere with the um, with the transmissions. Very good. Can I readjust? Uh, no, I think received... you'd better, yes, if you want to. Right. All right, Norman, let's try it again. Now. Stop. Very good. Of course, it's possible that this happens through visual interaction between Ron and Norma. And in order to avoid such an accusation, we're going to seat Ron facing in the opposite direction. Ron, would you swivel around, please? And now I'll signal when Norma is to start sending her thoughts. I will give the same signal. Count about seven. Sometime within the next few seconds or so. And under these conditions, we'll see what happens, all right? All right, stop. Now let's give it a second try, if you will. You tuned properly there, Norman? It's okay. Okay, sometime in the next few seconds or so, I will give the signal by holding my thumb up. Sorry. 
She's already started. I can't stop it. <laughs> I guess we're having a hard time stopping it, Norman, or <laughs> can you readjust it? To... No, no, no. Uh, the, the, he's received it, you see, and it's in his energy form now. Norma, will you stop? <laughs> All right, sometime in the next little while, I'm going to give another signal. It's beginning to slow. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, Norma, would you stop the signal, please? Well, under these conditions, there doesn't seem to be a correlation that I can see. Perhaps Norma failed once and perhaps succeeded once, but I think it's very hard to tell. Uh, sending thoughts with the box reacting, maybe it's been shown and maybe it hasn't. I can't make up my mind. Perhaps Ron was reacting to a visual signal rather than thought messages in the first part of the demonstration. I, nevertheless, the box is very interesting. Norman, would you allow electrical engineer to take a look inside that box? Most certainly not. Well, that's I'd a pity. I'd rather get it patented first. Well, that's a pity. I'm sure our audience would like to know what's going on in there. However, I would like to thank all three of you, Norma, Ron Turner, Norman Knight, for giving us this demonstration tonight.